Last week, our summer convertible series highlighted the BMW Z3 2.3 Roadster. But the most anxiously anticipated drop top of the year comes not from a German brand, but one from Japan. Here's Jennifer Kuznabis with our first look at the convertible design to start the new millennium off with a bang. This week, our summer convertible series features an exciting new product bearing the Honda badge. As oxymoronic as that sounds, it's true. And here's the kicker. It's a full-blown sports car. That's right. The company known best for its staid cars and minivans has produced a little roadster guaranteed to grab you by the throat and the heartstrings in one drop of the top. It's the Honda S2000, and it's Honda's gift to us to celebrate over 50 years of motorsports success. And what a gift it is. This front engine rear drive roadster features a balanced 50-50 weight distribution and a high revving engine typically found in a motorcycle. The screaming little power plant under the hood is a 2-liter, normally aspirated 16-valve, double overhead cam VTEC 4-cylinder that delivers 240 horsepower at 8300 RPM and redlines at 8900 RPM. But like most high revving engines, offline thrust is somewhat compromised. The S2000 produces 153 pound feet of torque at 7,500 RPM. So just keep the tack towards its upper limits, and you'll be having so much fun, you really won't mind. The S2000's razor sharp handling characteristics come from an independent double wishbone setup at both front and rear, with coil springs and gas shocks handling the dampening. Brakes on the S2000 are a rather necessary evil, because once you get rolling, you won't want to stop. But when reality shatters your drop-top reverie, the four-wheel disc brakes with ABS will haul you in quickly. The S2000's cockpit easily accommodates most, and comes with a CD player, power windows, cruise control, and other creature comforts. Gauges are digital, and there's a cool engine start button that fires up the S2000 once the key has been switched on. And the power top, one of our favorite features, can have you in the wind in just six seconds. The S2000 should be available in September for around $30,000. The U.S. will only get in around 5,000 units per year, so don't wait around. And that's it for this week's Motor News.